When you're calculating an interest rate problem in our class and you see the word compounded and then you don't see continuously but you see some other increment of time, that means you're going to use this formula with all the n's in it because that's for compounded daily, monthly, weekly, any of those things. So um, let's start plugging things in. The P stands for principal amount. So that is that 100,000. Because it is depreciating, which means going down in value, we will use the subtract sign. Um, the annual rate is 6%. So you either need to move the decimal spot one, two spots to the left, or just do 6 divided by 100. And it would give you the same thing. So 0 0.06. If it's compounded monthly, that means the N will be 12. It doesn't matter how many years it's happening for, and just means how many times is it compounded per year. Um, for this first one, it just says for T years, you can just leave T as T. So you could answer it like this, or you could actually work out what the inside of the parentheses is equal to, which turns out to be 0 0.995. In part B here, what will the value of the jetpack be after eight years? T for time is always years. So we're going to put eight right in there. Um, to make this easier, when you type it into your calculator, I would recommend figuring out what the exponent is equal to, like do 12 times eight and it's 96 and then just type it in as 96. So the answer to this one should be dollars because we're talking about value and we always round to two decimals when we're doing dollars and cents. Um, for the third part here, in how many years will the jet pack drop to half of its original value? Let's set up our equation just like before. Um, because it's asking though how many years, that means we don't know what t is. That's going to be our variable that we're solving for. So up in our exponent we will write 12t. And we want to know when it's equal to half of what it started with. Well half of a hundred thousand is fifty thousand. So this is actually an exponential equation because our variable is in the exponent. So we need to get this exponent part with the base by itself. So our first step is going to be divide both sides by 100,000. So now we will have the exponential part all alone you don't need to write the parentheses when it's just a single number. And then on this side, when you divide, you should get 0 0.5. So because it's exponential, we're going to change it to log because logs undo exponents. Our base is the same as the base was for the exponent, 0 0.995. Our new log equation should equal our old exponent. And then the third part goes on the inside of the log, like written normal size. To actually um, put this into the calculator, you need to use change of base rule, which just means you do log of the inside number, like the log button, like log base 10, divided by log of the base number. And this still is equal to 12t. So once you get that answer, then just divide both sides by 12. So you get 11.524 equal to t. And t is always defined in terms of years. So that number is number of years.